Hi there. See anything you like? Oh, I'm just browsing. Say, you look like you could use an activity book with half the activities done. Wow, that would save me half the time. Connect the dots? Ha! More like set the book down and have a beer. You got yourself a deal. What are those? Oh, that's a pair of red flannel feety pajamas. Good Lord. See, they've got a flap that opens up in the back. Are you telling me I could be pooping and warm? Exactly. No longer would I have to make a choice between the two. Sir, here is a check with my name on it. Write down any number on this piece of paper and I will pay it. All right, so we roll the dice, and then we both have to yell Yahtzee really loud. At the same time? Yeah, and you have to flap your wrists like this. And you'll do it too? Of course, that's how it's done. Okay. All right, ready? Okay, you gonna do it with me? Oh, yeah. Yahtzee! Gay. You suck! Hey, everybody, I'm home from work. My God, Peter, you wore those pajamas to your office? Hey, at least I'm mixing it up a little bit. Oh, green shirt, tan pants, that's refreshing. Oh, boy, does it feel good to undo my butt flap. Ew, Dad! We don't want to sit here and look at your ass. Yes, I'd rather look at Meg toweling off after a shower when she does that butt floss thing. Ew, ew, that's so disgusting. Uh, 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 I hope I don't ever accidentally use that towel. Ah! Lois, I have never been more comfortable as a person than I am in these feety pajamas. All warm and furry. This is what it feels like to be a bear. Y you remember what I used to say, Lois, when we first got married? You remember? I used to say, what would it feel like to be a bear? Well, this is it. This is it. I'm living it, baby. No, you're not. You've been wearing those things for three days. You can wear them to bed, but tomorrow we're getting rid of them. <sighs> Fine. Screw up all my fuzziness. Ah! What the hell was that? Ah! Oh, my God. Lois, don't get alarmed, but I think I might be Jesus. I'm Jesus. Peter, that's a static shock. Your pajamas created a charge of electricity when you dragged your feet across the carpet, and when you touched Chris, you passed it on. Kneel before Christ! Ah! <laughs> dad! I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. <laughs> Ow! Damn it, Peter, stop it! I gotta tell you, you're pissing me off worse than when I watched the OJ verdict with my old roommate. We, the jury, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty. Yes. What the hell? What? what? Maybe we should get new roommates. Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> Peter, I know you're in here. Yes, I am, Lois. But where? Peter, if you shock me, I swear to God I'm leaving you. You'll have to find me first, Lois. Where could I be? Well, there's a Quonset hut that I've never seen in this room before. I gotta figure you're in there. How do you know, Lois? I could be in that New York-style magazine kiosk. Peter, this all looks very expensive. Yes, you might say it was shockingly expensive. I'm gonna try the Quonset hut. I was in the bathroom, the hut and the kiosk. Decoys, Lois. Decoys! Glenn, thank you so much for helping me tear up my carpet. Well, you know, Lois, I, I gotta confess, uh, when you called me, I sort of misunderstood what you were asking for. That's why I rushed over, but uh, it's, well, well, you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I'm, I'm happy to help. What the hell is this? Peter, I've had it with all your shocking. Uh, since you won't get rid of those pajamas, I'm getting rid of the carpets. Hey, uh, Lois, you want me to leave a little strip in this thing? Maybe a lightning bolt, unicorn, something like that? No, I want it all gone, Glenn. All right, we're going Brazilian. Hey, what's this? Some kind of really old coin. Huh, let me see that. Wait a minute, do you know what this is? This is an 18th century Rhode Island ship token. This thing's got to be worth 50 grand. 50 grand? Oh my god! I can finally afford that operation to swap my vocal cords with Patrick Stewart. 